Component Writing, Part 2 This article will cover how to write advanced properties, how to write custom streaming for those properties, and sub-properties. This article originally appeared in Delphi Developer Copyright Pinnacle Publishing Incorporated. All rights reserved. This article is part two of a three-part article on components. Part one covered the basic creating of components, part two will cover how to write advanced properties, how to write custom streaming for those properties, and sub-properties. The final part will cover property slash component editors, how to write dedicated editors for your component slash property, and how to write hidden components. Quite often it is necessary to write components that perform more advanced functions. These components often need to either reference other components, have custom property data formats, or have a property that owns a list of values rather than a single value. In this part, we will explore various examples covering these very subjects, starting with the most simple. Component references Some components need to reference other components. T-label for instance has a focus control property. When you include an ampersand in the caption property it underlines the next letter, and hello becomes hello, Pressing the shortcut key Alt-H on your keyboard will trigger an event in your label. If the focus control property has been set focus will be passed to the control specified. To have such a property in your own component is quite simple. All you do is declare a new property and set the property type to the lowest base class that it may accept, twin control will allow any descendant of twin control to be used, but, there are implications. Type T simple example equals class, T component, private F focus control, Twin control, protected procedure set focus control, const value, twin control, virtual, public published property focus control, twin control read f focus control write set focus control, and Procedure T simple example dot set focus control, const value, twin control, begin f focus control equals value, and, take the above example. This is quite a simple example, hence the component name of how to write a component that references another component. If you have such a property in your component the object inspector will show a combo box with a list of components that match the criteria, all components descended from twin control. Our component may do something like procedure t simple example dot doso mething, begin if, assigned, focus control, and, focus control dot enabled, then focus control dot set focus, 
and first we check if the property has been assigned, if so we set focus to it, but there are situations when the property is not nil yet the component it points to is no longer valid. This often happens when a property references a component that has been destroyed. Luckily Delphi provides us with a solution. Whenever a component is destroyed it notifies its owner, our form, that it is being destroyed. At this point every component owned by the same form is notified of this event too. To trap this event we must override a standard method of T component called notification. Type T simple example equals class T component private F focus control twin control protected procedure notification a component t component operation t operation override procedure set focus control const value twin control virtual public published property focus control twin control read f focus control write set focus control and procedure t simple example dot set focus control const value twin control begin f focus control equals value and procedure T simple example dot notification a component T component operation T operation begin inherited slash slash never forget to call this if operation equals op remove and a component equals focus control then F focus control equals nil, and, now when our referenced component is destroyed we are notified, at which point we can set our reference to nil. Note, however, that I said every component owned by the same form is notified of this event too this introduces us with another problem. We are only notified that the component is being destroyed if it is owned by the same form. It is possible to have our property point to components on other forms, or even without an owner at all, and when these components are destroyed we are not notified. Yet again there is a solution. T component introduces a method called free notification. The purpose of free notification is to tell the component, focus control, to keep us in mind when it is destroyed. An implementation would look like this type T simple example equals class T component private F focus control twin control protected procedure notification A component T component operation T operation, override, procedure set focus control, const value, twin control, virtual, public published property focus control, twin control read f focus control write set focus control, and, 
procedure t simple example dot set focus control const value twin control begin if value f focus control then begin if assigned f focus control then f focus control dot remove free notification self f focus control equals value if assigned f focus control then f focus control dot free notification self and and procedure t simple example dot notification a component t component operation t operation begin if operation equals op remove and a component equals focus control then f focus control equals nil and when setting our focus control property we first check if it is already set to a component if it is already set we need to tell the original component that we no longer need to know when it is destroyed once our property has been set to the new value we inform the new component that we require a notification when it is freed. The rest of our code remains the same as the referenced component still calls our notification method. Sets this section is really quite simple and will not take long to cover. I do not doubt that you are already familiar with creating your own ordinal types. Type T component option equals codraw lines, codraw solid, codraw background. Properties of this type will show a combo box with a list of all possible values but sometimes you will need to set a combination of many, or all, of these values. This is where sets come into play type T component option equals, codraw lines, codraw solid, codraw background, T component options equals set of T component option, Publishing a property of type T component options would result in A plus appearing next to our property name. When you click to expand the property you will see a list of options. For each element in T component option you will see a boolean property. You can include slash exclude elements from your set by setting its value to true slash false. It is simple to check slash alter elements in a set from within our component like so. If codraw lines in our component options then draw the lines, or procedure t some component dot set our component options const value t component options begin if codraw solid in value and codraw background in value then raise an exception f our component options equals value invalidate and binary properties sometimes it is necessary to write your own streaming routines to read and write custom property types this is how delphi read slash writes the top and left properties for non-visible components without actually publishing those properties in the object inspector for example, 
I once wrote a component to shape a form based on a bitmap image. My code at the time to convert a bitmap to a window region was extremely slow and would not possibly be of any use at runtime. My solution was to convert the data at design time, and stream the binary data that resulted from the conversion. To create binary properties is a three-step process. One write a method to write the data. Two write a method to read the data. Three tell Delphi that we have a binary property, and pass our read slash write methods. Type T binary component equals class T component private F binary data pointer F binary data size D word procedure write data S T stream procedure read data S T stream protected procedure define properties filer T filer override public constructor create A owner T component override and Define properties is called by Delphi when it needs to stream our component. All we need to do is to override this method, and add a property using either tfiler.define property or tfiler.define binary property. Procedure tfiler.define binary property const name, string, read data, write data, t stream proc, has data, boolean, constructor t binary component dot create, a owner, t component, begin inherited, f binary data size equals zero, and, Procedure T binary component dot define properties filer T filer var has data boolean begin inherited has data equals F binary data size zero filer dot define binary property binary data read data write data has data and procedure t binary component dot read data s t stream begin s dot read f binary data size size of d word if f binary data size zero then begin get mem F binary data, F binary data size, S dot read, F binary data carrot, F binary data size, and, and, procedure T binary component dot write data, S, T stream, begin slash slash this will not be called if f binary data size equals 0 s dot right f binary data size size of d word s dot right f binary data carrot f binary data size and firstly we override define properties once we have done this we define a binary property with the values binary data the invisible property name to be used read data the procedure responsible for reading the data 
write data, the procedure responsible for writing the data. Has data, if this is false, the write data procedure is not even called. Persistency A quick explanation of persistency is in order as we shall refer to it in the following sections. Persistency is what makes it possible for Delphi to read and write the properties of all of its components. T component derives from a class called T persistent. T persistent is simply a Delphi class capable of having its properties read and written by Delphi, which means that any descendants of T persistent also have this same capability. Collections As we progress through this article we cover component properties of more complexity. Collections are one of the most complex standard Delphi property types. If you drop a TDB grid onto a form and look at its properties in the object inspector, you will see a property named Columns. Columns is a collection property, when you click on the button you will see a small window pop up. This window is the standard property editor for T collection properties, and descendants of T collection. Whenever you click the new button you see a new item added, a T column item, clicking on that item will select it into the object inspector so that you can alter its properties slash events. How is this done? The columns property descends from T collection. T collection is similar to an array, which contains a list of T collection items. Because T collection is descended from T persistent it is able to stream this list of items, similarly, T collection item is also descended from T persistent and can also stream its properties. So what we have is an array-like item capable of streaming all of its items and their properties. The first thing to do when creating our own structure based on T collection slash T collection item is to define our collection item. See our collection dot pot. Type tr collection item equals class t collection item private f sum value string protected function get display name string override public procedure assign source t persistent override published property sum value string read f sum value write f sum value and what we have done here is to create a descendant of t collection item we have added a token property called sum value overwritten the get display name function to alter the text that is shown in the default editor, and finally overwritten the assign method in order to allow TR collection item to be assigned to another TR collection item. If we omit the final step then the assign method of our collection class will not work. Procedure tr collection item dot assign source t persistent b 
begin if source is tr collection item then sum value equals tr collection item source dot sum value else inherited slash slash raises an exception and function tr collection item dot get display name string begin result equals format item percent d index and the implementation of tour collection is much more complex and requires us to do quite a bit of work tour collection equals class t collection private f owner t component protected function get owner t persistent override function get item index integer tr collection item procedure set item index integer value tr collection item procedure update item tr collection item public constructor create a owner t component function add tr collection item function insert index integer tr collection item property items index integer tr collection item read get item write set item and there are a number of items to cover based on the above class declaration so we shall start from the top and cover each in turn get owner is a virtual method introduced in t persistent this needs to be overwritten as the default code for this method returns nil. In our implementation we alter the constructor to receive only one parameter, a owner, t component. We store this parameter in f owner, which is then passed as the result of get owner, T component descends from T persistent, so is therefore a valid result type. Constructor to our collection dot create a owner T component begin inherited create T our collection item F owner equals a owner and function tour collection dot get owner t persistent begin result equals f owner and not only does create store the owner which is required for the object inspector to work correctly it also tells Delphi what class our collection item is by calling inherited create tr collection item get item slash set item are declared the same way as they are in t collection but instead of working on t collection item they work on our new class tr collection item these are used in our items property later on Update as above is a straightforward replacement of the original, working on our new collection item class instead. Add slash insert are both responsible for adding items to the list, these have both been replaced to return objects of the appropriate class. Finally, an item's property is introduced to replace the original item's property, 
again so that we are returned a result of TR collection item rather than T collection item saving us the unnecessary problem of typecasting the result each time. Finally an example of implanting this property type in a component of our own. T collection component equals class T component, private for collection, tour collection, procedure set our collection, const value, tour collection, public constructor create, a owner, T component, override, destructor destroy, override, Published property our collection, tour collection read for collection right set our collection, and, it is as simple as that. Once our T collection class is written all of the hard work is done. Our constructor creates the collection class, the destructor destroys it and set our collection does this. Constructor T collection component dot create, A owner, T component, begin inherited, for collection equals tour collection dot create, self, and, destructor T collection component dot destroy, begin for collection dot free inherited and procedure t collection component dot set our collection const value tour collection begin for collection dot assign value and as mentioned before the self Pass to the tr collection item dot create is stored in tour collections f owner variable, which is passed as the result of get owner. A point to note here is that in set our collection we do not set for collection equals value as you are replacing the object. Objects are simply pointers, we assign our property to the value. Later versions of Delphi make this simpler still. Rather than having to override getOwner in our collection class, we can now derive our collection from Towned Collection instead. Towned Collection is a wrapper for T Collection with this work done for us. Sub-properties earlier on in this article we saw how it was possible to create an expandable property. The limitation of the earlier technique was that each sub-item appeared as a Boolean property. This next section will demonstrate how to create expandable properties that can contain any property type. If a component requires a property that is a record type, this could quite easily be implemented by exposing each of the properties separately. If however our component needs to introduce two or more properties of the same complex type our object inspector view suddenly becomes very complicated. The answer is to create a complex structure, alike to a record or object and to publish the structure as a property whenever needed. The obvious problem is that Delphi does not know how to display this property unless we tell it. Creating a fully blown property editor, 
with dialogues etc., would be overkill, so luckily Delphi has provided a solution. As mentioned earlier, Delphi's internal streaming is based around a T-persistent class. The first step therefore is to derive our complex structure from this class. Type T expanding record equals class, T persistent, private F integer prop, integer, F string prop, string, F collection prop, tour collection, procedure set collection prop, const value, tour collection, public constructor create, a owner, t component, destructor destroy, override, procedure assign, source, t persistent, override, published property integer prop, integer read f integer prop right f integer prop, property string prop, string read f string prop right f string prop, underscore underscore.